Hello, welcome to Gorican Public Schools Session 4 Kindergarten Orientation Program for 2021. Today's session is all about student wellbeing and how Gorican Public School staff can support your child. I'd like to welcome Mr Foley to present the Acknowledgement of Country. I acknowledge the dark and young people and the dark and young nation as the traditional custodians of the land. I thank them for the care of this land on which we learn and we teach today. I'd like to pay my respect to Elders past and present and welcome all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander families to our school. Thank you, Mr Foley. I'd now like to share with you what the students wear to school or what their uniform is. Here on the screen, you can see that the boys and girls wear a grey shirt, the boys wear navy shorts and the girls wear navy culottes. On sports day, the, uh, there is a yellow t-shirt and they all wear black shoes. On the sports day, they have a stripe down the side of their yellow shirt. It indicates what house team they're in. You can see on the screen, the color depends on the surname of the child. Um, I'd like to now share with you on the next screen what a healthy lunch box, box looks like. The children have three opportunities to eat and drink, fruit break, lunch and recess. Fruit break is um, expected, the children are, um, can have fruit or vegetable and water. Lunch, yeah, something like a sandwich or a wrap. And recess, a piece of fruit or a yogurt, a couple of biscuits, often cut up or in small, small pieces is um, more accessible for the children. They don't have that long to play. They usually like to play and fit their food in, so the easier for them to access, the better. Just please limit sugary foods. We also have our Gorican Public School Canteen available for online orders. Mrs. Trees is our librarian. The children will visit the library once a week to borrow books. It's a wonderful place in the school where the children can go and read. We also have before and after school service. It operates in the hall each day. The times are from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and then 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, I'd like to welcome Mr. Pratt and Mr. Zemmett. They're gonna to explain to you a bit about our wellbeing and behavior management systems. Thank you. Hello, I'm Desmond Zemmett, the very proud principal of Gorican Public School. The focus of today's school orientation session is to provide detailed information about behaviour management at Gorican Public School. My co-presenter today is Michael Pratt, Deputy Principal Wellbeing. Good morning, Michael. Thanks, Jess. I'm really looking forward to meeting all of our new students and parents, and I can't wait to help all our incoming students transition to our wonderful school. Here at Gorican Public School, we work extremely hard to develop a behaviour management system that is clear, and consistent in regards to our school rules and values. All of our staff at Gorican Public School have high expectations of our students in regards to being safe, respectful learners. In 2020, Gorican Public School implemented an innovative model for supervising the playground during break times. All teachers now run structured activities rather than just roving. These activities are strategically positioned so the teachers will be visible to all students in that area and to also allow the teachers to monitor the whole area. The activities are displayed daily on a TV to let the students know what activities are running for that session. Teachers teach the skills, communicate the rules and manage any issues throughout the activity. This can have an added benefit of teaching students social skills such as conflict resolution at the time of need. This initiative allows students with additional social needs to be targeted for individual programs or activities to support their behaviour in the playground. Our playground structures also make it easier for children to make friends without feeling anxious about the playground. Since starting this program, the teachers have reported that students are coming back into the classroom settled and ready to learn. They have also reported that the activities have provided the staff and students with a fun way to develop positive relationships. 
Every classroom at Gorakon Public School has a set of behaviour circles that are used to give students verbal and visual reminders to make positive choices in regards to their behaviour. The circles give the students multiple opportunities to reflect on their behaviour and follow school rules. The behaviour circles have now also been linked to our positive reward system. Every student starts the day on good choices. Gorakon Public School has developed a levelled system where all students start the year on a neutral level. Throughout the year, incidents of continued disobedience or aggressive behaviour will move the students to orange level, red level and ultimately being suspended. If a student is consistently displaying inappropriate behaviours or, or are aggressive, they will receive a long time out. A long time out is where a student needs to be removed from their classroom or the playground and sent to the planning room. There are two types of long time outs. The first is aggressive behaviour. This is for more serious behaviours needing immediate action and consequences. The second is continued disobedience. This is where a student has been given multiple opportunities to reflect on their behaviours and follow school rules. This is where the behaviour circles come in and are used to give students verbal and visual reminders to make positive choices in regards to their behaviour. Students may be placed on an orange or red level if they continue to display inappropriate behaviour. If a student receives three long time outs within five school weeks, they'll be placed on either an orange or red level. Students can also receive an immediate level if they display behaviours that are aggressive and match the description on the GPS behaviour management plan. Throughout this process, students are given multiple levels of support, including regular com communication with parents to correct the behaviour. All incidents that occur in the playground are referred to the planning room. Any student has, who has received a long time out, orange or red level, will need to attend the planning room at lunch the following day. During planning room sessions, the students will be given opportunities to discuss the incident and to develop strategies to avoid future incidents. So that's the structure covered. So thanks, Michael, for that. Um, in addition to this, we have a positive reward system at Gorakon Public School, which is implemented um, across the course of the year. Students receive points on a daily basis for displaying positive behaviour in the classroom, playground and during specialised lessons. As the points accumulate throughout the year, students are provided with rewards as they reach a new level. These reward days are scheduled for weeks 5 and 10 of every term. Milestone awards are presented at each school assembly. They will be presented with a silicon wristband representing the level that they have achieved. The kids are really proud of these wristbands and wear them um, with delight. Parents will receive daily feedback on how their child has performed during the day using the free app Class Dojo. You will receive information about how to set up this in your first week of school next year. Gorakon Public School isn't just a place to grow academically. It's a place to grow as a person. When children feel safe, supported and connected to their school, they're better equipped to succeed academically and in life. In 2020, Gorakon Public School decided to make a big commitment to developing the social and emotional skills our students by implementing the Second Step program. Second Step is a developmental and sequential curriculum designed to promote school and life success and to prevent problem behaviours. The Second Step program teaches skills in the following four areas. Skills for learning. Students gain skills to help themselves learn, including how to focus their attention, listen carefully, use self-talk to stay on task and be assertive when asking for help with schoolwork. Empathy. Students learn to identify and understand their own and others' feelings. Students also learn how to take another's perspective and how to show compassion. Emotion management. Students learn specific skills for calming down when, when experiencing strong feelings such as anxiety or anger. And problem solving. Students learn a process for solving problems with others in a, in a positive way. Second step is taught in every class, every day and over the whole year. There are also some home links that will be introduced next year. Home, link, home links are simple, fun activities for you and your child to complete together. 
they're a great way for you to understand what your child is learning and for your child to show you what he or she knows. Thanks for joining Mr Pratt Knight for today's information session. We understand that we've covered a lot of ground. We certainly don't expect you to have taken everything in. What we do hope is that you have taken away the following key messages. That the school has very clear expectations for student behaviour. That we have a system in place to keep students on track and parents informed. That proactive programs are in place to teach students important social skills. And that students who make good choices are acknowledged and students who need help are supported. We believe that clear is kind and for this reason we explicitly teach the students our systems, our expectations and the skills to support their positive and successful engagement at school. We hope that you've found this presentation useful and informative and we look forward to sharing our next transition video with you in which we will share information about student wellbeing and learning support. Together we can make a difference. Thank you Mr Pratt and Mr Zemet. I'd now like to invite Mrs Shauna Crook. She would like to go through our support that we can provide at Gorakin Public School for learning and engagement. I would first like to say welcome to Gorakin Public School. I believe that it is a true privilege to work at this school and an honour to support your child and your whole family as they start their learning journey. The major part of my role is the Learning and Support Team Coordinator. You might hear the term LST, which is just an abbreviation for Learning and Support Team. We teachers like to use an acronyms or short ways of saying things, so there might be a few of them mentioned today. I'll do my best to explain them as they come up. Thanks, Laura. The school's Learning and Support Team has a vital role within the school to monitor and support the learning, wellbeing and social development of all students across the school, from kindergarten to year six. The team itself is made up of school-based experts in the fields of learning, behaviour and supporting students with a range of additional needs. Our core team consists of myself, the Deputy Principals, the School Counselor and our Instructional Leaders. Other staff from across the school join the team when required if they have specific skills or experience in a field that would support an individual child. We also collaborate with medical and health professionals, as well as family members when beneficial to the outcomes of our students. Please be reassured that all members have a wealth of experience and talents that can be used to support your child should they have any additional needs. All kindergarten classes are provided with additional support, having teachers aides working in the classroom to provide extra one-on-one -on -one support for students, enabling them to receive support in the classroom and playground while they're learning all about big school. There are many ways in which we provide additional support for students on a daily basis. We have a learning support team of teachers. We also have English as a second language instruction, as well as NDIS external providers, teachers aides in the playground and in the classrooms, and out of home care students are catered for within the learning support team role. So let's think about students with additional needs. How do you know if your child has additional learning needs? All children develop at different rates, so they will not arrive at school with the same set of skills. Talk to your child's preschool teacher, doctors and other professionals that are involved with your family and be guided by their ideas. Students with additional learning needs can include those with the following characteristics. Autism spectrum disorder, learning, behaviour, attention deficit, sensory, vision and hearing. Some of the school-based adjustments that the learning support team can provide to assist your child include a teacher's aid to support their learning and behaviour in the classroom or playground, learning and support teachers to support your child's learning in the classroom, team teaching with a teacher, perhaps working one-on-one -on -one with your child or writing individual programs. We also have sensory equipment to maintain children's attention and support them to organise information that's being presented, weighted blankets, vibrating cushions, movement breaks, fidget supports, modified programs. For children on the autism spectrum, we use timers and other practical activities and adjustments. 
We also have a range of resources and special strategies and equipment to deal with the needs of children with dyslexia. Our school counsellor is Justin Sims. He is an educational psychologist and it is his role to work with medical and health professionals and families to confirm a range of learning, behavioural, social and physical disabilities. He has the ability to complete IQ assessments where required and provides vital information to paediatricians to assist them with diagnosis and treatment for our students. In some cases, more intensive support for your child may be required. In this case, we will work with Justin Sims to complete an application that is presented at a district level where a team of experts in the field of disability place students where there's an availability. If you go down this road and your child requires this extra support, Justin will need to have access to all of your latest reports, including from the following people, paediatrician, speech therapist, occupational therapist, hearing and vision reports. These reports are then used to assess your child's suitability for a special class placement or for additional funding to support them at school. The learning and support team also monitors student attendance as it is a vital part of the successful engagement of students in school. Students are expected to attend school every day. In the event that your child is absent, the school will send an SMS to inform you of the absence and this will allow you an easy way to provide a reason for the absence, which will be logged on the school's database. When students are away for three days or more, a doctor's certificate is required. We can't stress enough the importance of regular school attendance for every single child. Did you know that if a student was away one day each fortnight, by the end of year 12, they will have missed a whole year and a half of school. Thanks for joining Mrs Crook and I for today's Kindergarten Orientation Information Session on supporting students with additional needs. We understand that we've covered a lot of ground and we certainly don't expect you to have taken everything in. We do hope that you have taken away the following key messages. That students with additional needs are known, valued, cared for and supported. That we have skilled and specialised staff to support students that we have systems to strategically assist students, including those with additional or special needs, and that consistent and regular attendance is critically important for all students. Thank you, Mr. Zamat and Mrs. Crook for explaining about the wellbeing systems in place at Gorican. It is very important that your children do attend school regularly. Every minute counts. And by the chart on the screen, you can see that just 20 minutes a day, that equals one hour and 40 minutes of learning each week becomes two and a half weeks per year, which is nearly a year of school that they'll be missing, just from 20 minutes each day. So please be mindful of that when your children start and start with good habits. We'd now like you to um, enjoy our students in their performance. I hope you found this session very informative and we look forward to our final session, session next week where we answer the questions that you've been sending in. Thank you and good night. Advanced Recorders and Ukulele Ensemble. Pokari Kari Ana. One, two, three, four, and. <laughs> 